Hi, it's Maggie the Irish Gypsy here to bring you your September 2023 mid-month general reading. So we're looking at the last half of September and this reading is for the water sign of Scorpio. I hope everyone's doing well. Thanks for being here, for supporting this channel. Your like, share, subscribe, especially hitting that like button. Uh, those of you who reach out for personal readings and refer and recommend, who comment, thank you so much, all of you. Okay, Scorpio. If your sun, moon, rising, Venus sign is in Scorpio, if you're cross-watching for a Scorpio, this video is for you. Of course, being a general reading, it may resonate a little differently for everyone. So if you know any or all of your other signs, watch them for any additional you know, information or perspective they can offer. And if something does resonate with you and you'd like to take a deeper look at something, reach out for a personal reading for yourself or as a gift for someone else, or you simply like the reading style and you're interested in a personal reading, uh, please feel free to email me at Maggie, the number one McGuire at gmail.com. You can see that by also clicking the title or description of this video. I would love to hear from you and I can usually get back to you the same day with all the information. I offer a pretty wide variety of choices for readings of all different lengths and types and budgets and all areas of life. So there's something there for everyone. So if you're interested, please email me. And uh, I do readings full time. It's all that I do. So scheduling of personal readings is done in a pretty timely fashion too, because it's all I devote my attention to. So again, click on the title or video description of this uh, video and you can see my email address there. Okay, let's move right into this. Scorpio, let's see what the last half of September looks like for you. <clears throat> I am using the Tarot of Dreams, clarifying with the Radiant Rider weight. Let's turn it the right way. The Knight of Cups we begin with. The Knight of Water, of emotion, sometimes of love. This Now, knights usually represent, uh, you know, knights always progress. So knights always represent an opportunity to progress, an offer or opportunity for change. This one is driven by emotion, love, support, encouragement, perhaps might be romance for some of you. With the Eight of Coins, somebody who's willing to put in the work. Uh, the Eight of Coins, Coins or Pentacles, is governed by the element of Earth. And it often represents stability in our life or the things we, you know, that we, that make us feel stable and secure and the efforts we put into gaining and maintaining those things. I like to call the Eight of Coins uh, my worker bee card because it represents the slow, steady work, detail, orientation, uh, you know, putting something in because you want to build something. You know, it might be work for a job, nine to five, a business, you know, I mean, the Eight of Coins is building up towards the Ten of Coins, which is long-term stability and security. So, um, you know, I mean, this could be a combination for, uh, you know, a job, a work, or project opportunity. Um, although with the Knight of Cups, it's it's love-driven. <laughs> um, regardless of the nature of the type of love, it might be romantic love. It's somebody who's offering to help, to come in, to... To put the work into something or an opportunity to do that let's keep moving uh, page of cups is next little messages support encouragement love sometimes flirtation for some of you might be finding love at work for some of you this could represent a child too because pages can represent children or young people with that, we have the Four of Cups, an offer or opportunity being presented. Somebody's not quite sure if they want to take it or not, not quite sure if they need it or not. Hmm. Next, we have the Five of Cups. You still have two cups upright and full, but three are tipped over. Something has happened. Uh, there's loss or grief or regret here. You know, and, and it's right next to the Page of Cups and Nine of Cups, Knight of Cups. So this might be an apology. It might be someone offering you an apology. It might be a romantic partner. It might be a, a, a child, whether they're young or, or adult. It might be an apology here. With that Five of Cups, we have the Ace of Coins. A new beginning, starting over again. 
now with the eight of coins it might be new job new work i mean the ace of coins is a practical new beginning it might be moving relocating a new job money for an apology it's wanting to start over it's quite clear that there is an offer or opportunity here but there's kind of a strong emotional um, element or impact to this so i'm not sure if it's exclusively work or job for those of you unless you have that emotional kind of you know relationship <coughs> excuse me relationship energy involved with work from oh probably not from the bottom of the deck uh, representing the overall focus or overall general energy for the last half of september it's the two of cups which is our traditional soulmate kindred spirit best friend card and again this doesn't necessarily have to be a romantic soulmate it could be between a parent and their child it could be between two people as best friends kindred spirits family members but it's a very very strong connection here some of you this is an outright um apology i'm sorry for what happened before i'm sorry for my part and what happened before let's start over again let's do the work i'm willing to do my share of this to move on i'm getting kind of a strong apology vibe here as well um but it's un <laughs> it feels like if you're the one who that the apology is being offered to you're not entirely sure um and if you're the one offering the apology to somebody else, they're not entirely sure. Let's clarify this overall energy of the Two of Cups. And for some of you, it might be a completely new offer or opportunity from a completely new source that goes a long way towards um, alleviating any pain or grief or pain from the past clarify two of cups some of you may have a soulmate energy coming in here justice and the six of swords Justice is things being fair and equitable and even, especially if they weren't before, things being right, honorable, moral, ethical. But it also represents, you know, it's the reap what you sow card, meaning that the outcome of something is dependent on, on a person's or people's actions. Six of Swords is a card of healing, um, putting the worst behind you, moving into a nice, better, more peaceful and harmonious place. However, it's transitional, meaning you're not to the other shore and on solid ground yet, but you're you're you've left the worst behind you and you're you're headed in the right direction. So there's an opportunity here for healing. Many of you, this is rectifying something wrong that happened in the past between you and another person. Again, for some of you, although I think it I feel like it would be a smaller portion of you, <clears throat> you know, some of you this is something happened in the past and it was painful bad negative you didn't i mean it, it, it hurt you and this new offer or opportunity it may be a new soulmate energy coming in um goes a long way towards bringing healing from that in the past even though you may be you know because you were hurt in the past you may be afraid to move forward or a little cautious clarify knight of cups Yeah, Ten of Swords, feeling betrayed, stabbed in the back, really disappointed, maybe feelings thrown under the bus. The Empress, it might be from a female or mother, you might be the mother, they might be the mother. Um, or just feeling like, I mean, the Empress is a card of abundance and, you know, taking good care of yourself, even kind of a bit of indulgence. Again, the gist is the same. It just depends on how the details of it work out for you. There's an offer or opportunity for something new here that will help alleviate or provide healing for something painful from the past where you felt maybe betrayed or excluded or shut out in some way. Whether it's from the person who did it and they're trying to come back to make it right or whether it's from somebody new coming in to help you heal you from that clarify the eight of coins the 
six of pentacles and ace of cups yeah it's the same energy gift giving receiving gifts giving gifts receiving gifts ace of cups is the heart being open the heart beginning to open again it could be again new love and romance or an apology here from a romantic partner from a friend from a family member page of cups Ooh, for some of you i just got a ping for one or two of you maybe um a mother who is passed on is helping kind of push this or orchestrate this in a positive way okay clarify page of cups seven of pentacles taking look at taking a look at what you have invested in something what do you have to show for it do you want to continue do you want to walk away from it ace of swords the truth the light epiphanies information seeing something in the light of what it is you know some of you for new love and romance this combination of of cards is going to be you know i i think you were hurt quite badly oops i think you were hurt quite badly in the past and i think you're wondering if something is worth investing in again whether it's a new one or an old one that you 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 there's still no la there's no lack of love and caring here but you're wondering if you can trust the person again or if you can invest that same amount in you know the question again the question here is the fundamental regardless of how it plays out in a general reading the fundamental energy doesn't change there's an offer opportunity here and somebody is trying to figure out if they really want to invest in this or not moving forward four of cups The Six of Cups, the Ten of Cups. So the Six of Cups, I mean, this is home, family, marriage, your people. I mean, the Six of Cups is a card of history, perhaps childhood, family. The Ten of Cups has that, that happy home, white picket fence to it. Again, this is representing the opportunity. I think for many of you, I mean, for new love and romance, I think that's the lesser portion of you. If it is, it's meeting a soulmate energy who's serious, who's committed, who will probably want to get married sooner rather than later. For others of you, it's a romantic partner coming in or a spouse wanting to rectify the wrongs of the past somehow. Others of you, it could be a best friend or a family member, again, doing the same thing. For many of you, um, this is something that's part of something that's been playing out for some time and uh, somebody's trying to make it right here. For smaller portion of you it's 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 somebody new coming in and wanting to whether they know it or not you know bringing healing for the past as well five of cups and ace of cups but again the fundamental energy is do i have enough still left inside of me to want to invest again whether it's again for an old situation or again in a new situation The fool in the sun yeah do i do i want to take a risk do i want to take a leap of faith could it work out could it be you know beautiful yeah it's kind of it's kind of the underlying theme of this whole reading do i or don't i all right let's ask spirit for some advice and guidance The star, renewed, restored hope, faith, and optimism after a, a challenge or a fight or a tragedy or breakup or something like that. It's the secondary wish fulfillment card. It is based on faith, but it does represent hope. Now, free will, free agency, as I always say, you can make whatever decision you feel is best for you. But spirit here is saying there is hope here. There is, there is a chance for a renewal here. Four of Pentacles, High Priestess, the Hanging Man, but they are saying practice caution moving forward. The Four of Pentacles is, is sometimes nicknamed the Miser card. It doesn't mean, well, sometimes it can be selfish, but um, it represents being protective and guarded because you don't want to lose what you have or what you have to give. The High Priestess and the Hanging Man, 
are both cards that represent not making any particularly decisive or extraordinary spontaneous action or decisions just yet wait and watch to see how things play out trust your intuition trust your connection with spirit um, before you make any specific big decisions or big actions um, especially to see if this person old or new is sincere not just with what they're saying but in how they act and how they follow through or if they can follow through or not so proceed with caution but proceed that's spirit's advice okay scorpio those are your messages for the last half of september i hope they were hopeful hopeful well i hope they were hopeful for for those of you for for uh, you know for whom you're looking at um kind of an older or ongoing situation um but there was, um, you know, there is an element, quite a strong element of, of hope and healing in this as well. So uh, I hope it was relevant for you or at least gave you some food for thought in your decision-making process moving forward. Again, if this did resonate with you and you'd like to reach out for a personal reading for yourself or as a gift for someone else or you're interested in information about that, uh, or you simply like the reading style and you're interested in a personal reading, please email me at maggie, the number one mcguire at gmail.com. You can see that by that uh, email contact info by clicking the title or the description of this video. I will see you all in a couple of weeks for the October general readings. Stay safe and well until then, and I hope to see you back here again soon. Bye-bye.